Yo, what up, man? It's Shot by Zach here in the studio. We got Tevo in the house today. What up, what up, what up? Talk about some uh, recent months of action that we got going from my mans. Uh, you know, let's, uh, let's start off with, uh, you know, how was your day today, man? You know, what'd you do today? Yeah, well, um, watched the kids. Went on a walk today. And ate good. Watched a new movie. Watched Curious George. That shit's actually pretty cool. There you go. I like it. Oh yeah? Alright man, so let's just jump into it. Uh, you know, the past couple months, man, we got some, some new tracks coming from you. Uh, we got a couple, there's uh, one called Waiting, one called IB, and one called Nobody. All those three dropped on SoundCloud in the past couple months. You want to talk about those a little bit? Yeah, um, the Nobody single came about like right after X died, and um, I wanted to write a character about this chick that really wanted to fit in because she had so much trouble in her family life and stuff and at the end of the day like she just realizes that she's nobody she's just like everybody else and um she's also in the artwork that i also dropped on my soundcloud as well that you'll see with that track awesome and, yeah then um waiting came about when um travis was staying with me for about two weeks and i already had most of my stuff written for it i was going to be about my son and shit and um I guess he just he wanted to hop on it. I was I'm for sure down with it, you know. He had some vocals for it and then like brought that different element that I've been wanting to do with my futures at that moment in time. And then um Ivy came about I had that that beat for like almost a year and um I was linking up with my homie Piff or PK Ultra at the time and um like I was shooting the shit at his house burning or whatever. And um, I showed him the track, and he was like, man, this is dope. And I'm like, yeah, and I need a hook for it. <laughs> I can't think of any. So, um, yeah, he hopped on that hook, and I was sitting on that for, like, a while. And um, Von Trey got his verse on, and then I did mine, but there's still something missing, and I didn't know. And when I showed Travis it, then we we had Von Trey, like, the day that Travis was there, come by, and, like, he dropped his verse, and I sat on it a little bit more, and then redid my verse, and then... That's the story for that. Boom. Yeah, all uh, all three new songs, they'll all be on uh, Tevo SoundCloud. We'll link all of that in the description down below for all you cats trying to catch a listen. But yeah, man, moving forward. So, uh, you know, you know, where did it all start? You know, name like three top influences slash artists that gives you inspiration to, you know, write your music. Inspiration. Um pretty much everything like living fucking old experiences uh, my kids like I don't know, everything kind of inspires me like even listening to old Slipknot when it was Cyrus, Killswitch Engage, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Ashaw Rashad like just, yeah. just everything you know like anything that has meaning like kind of makes yeah, you yeah I feel like, you what a fucking right. awesome man well uh you know where did it all start? I mean, you know, it had to come from some kind of like motivation musically, you know, like, you know, I, I can't imagine it just started from you just becoming a rapper, you know, like, where did you begin your music at? Um, I started playing drums at a homie's house when I was like nine or ten and like he was doing like a punk band or whatever. And like at their practices, like when I would stop, I would just fuck around on drums. I'd be like, dude, you're crazy at drums, just because I was playing fast. Like I didn't have any fucking rhythm at the time. And, <laughs> and then like I just kept doing it. And you know, my dad worked for a moving company at, like when I was younger and shit. And um, he came home and I he gave me a free drum set and I just kept working on it in my garage and then started a band and started opening up for people like Stick to Your Guns, Point of Osiris, Wretched, um, Ghost inside. Oh yeah. Like like a lot of good people and like it was cool to see them come up and now see what they are now. Yeah, dude, that's awesome, man. I, I think the the culture for music is real diverse nowadays. I think that a lot of uh, you gotta be rap, uh, you know, comes from influences from like metal bands and just people that want to diversify.